now these authoritative name servers these can be the name servers which are maintained by you yourself for example big websites uh, which are operating they have their own authoritative name server hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to talk about what happens when you go to any website and talk basically write in your browser www.xyz.com like what does happen at that time and where does it takes you like how it takes you to a particular website uh, so we are going to talk about that in this video so it all happens uh, with the help of a domain so any website you go to there is a domain www.something.com and uh, uh, basically how you reach that website and basically start uh, getting whatever service you are trying to take that all happens to dns so what is dns or the domain naming system at the bottom most level it is just a hierarchical database a database which contains the mapping between your domain name and all and the ip address the ip address is basically for the website which is uh, uh, basically taking you to that uh, ip address is basically the uh, ip address of the website and there is a mapping for that domain name so for example any website suppose uh, whatever website www.twitter.com and uh, in the back end there is a ip address which maps to twitter now let's see how basically this mapping is created like when will this mapping be created and uh, how are you routed so like from your desktop or uh, browser you are routed through uh, your there is an internet service provider that you have and then there are a lot of servers then there are website servers so from your browser to the website servers how is the link created so we are going to talk about that today so uh, let's start with the first process so for example let's suppose you are building a website you would basically need a domain name so that everybody can reach to that website so you buy this domain name from a website maybe something like godaddy or something like that so when you buy this domain name uh this creates a resource record now what is a resource record resource record is basically the mapping between the ip address and the domain name which is created so there is this mapping created between the ip address which you have for that website uh basically you decide the servers which are there so you can configure your servers so whenever you are creating a website you configure your servers there may be a serverless system but that would have an ip address uh you map that ip address to this particular domain name and then there is a resource record created now where is this record created and why you don't have to do anything about it we'll we'll talk about that so there are three types of servers that are there for managing this complete domain naming system so the first is the uh, global servers the global dns servers uh, are there are just a few global dns servers which exist and uh, uh, they basically uh, contain the mappings or uh, like top level mappings whatever they have we will go in detail about what these uh, global servers do in detail uh, just in brief there are global servers then comes the basically the top level domain servers now what these top level domain servers are these basically are the servers which are managing like .com .org .gov so these are just the top level domains so there are top level domain servers for each this type of uh, domains which are there and then there is basically the authoritative name server now these authoritative name servers these can be the name servers which are maintained by you yourself for example big websites uh, which are operating they have their own authoritative name servers or these may be managed by uh, service providers like godaddy etc so whenever you buy a domain their authoritative name server they have which basically contains the uh, mapping for your domain name and the ip address but there is also a global database which contains this mapping so we will see how that comes into the place so let's see what happens when user types a website in the address bar now what will happen is uh, it will make a call to your isp now isp which is your internet service provider it can be any of the internet service provider if you are in india there are many like airtel whatever uh, they are now they also have some mappings already cached in their servers so these are basically the recursive resolvers now these resolvers also contain some cached mappings between these domains and ip addresses so the websites which are frequently visited they mostly will have a cached copy of that ip address already stored with them 
so for the if you so you would have also seen this like whenever you visit a, a visited a quite visited website you would basically load the page quite fast as compared to when you visit a website which has less number of users so this is why that happens because in this case the call just goes to the isp recursive resolvers and it redounds back the ip address you don't have to go the full route now what happens when the record is not found in these recursive resolvers then it goes to the root name servers now the root name servers uh, we will discuss about them so the it is checked that if they contain the mapping what we are trying to find out between that if they are also not able to find then these root name servers then divide basically make a call to the top level domain server now these top level domain server will be de decided on the basis of what website you are visiting it is a .com visit, uh, .com website dot in website or whatever website you are trying to visit these top level domain servers will be called on the basis of that now it is also possible that these also these servers also do not have cached the mapping between your website and the ip addresses and then the finally call is made to the authoritative name server now authoritative name server like i discussed who maintains it and suppose that this also do not contain the cache mapping then finally there is a call to a dns database which is a huge database containing all the ip addresses and uh, the mapping between the domain names now uh, as you can see also from the call structure the dns hierarchy goes like this there is a there are a set of root servers uh, then there are top level domain servers dot com dot org dot edu uh, uh, and then finally the authoritative name servers specifically like so yahoo dot com amazon dot com i triple dot org so uh, these are the everyone would have their own authoritative name server or if you are a smaller uh, website like if you are creating a website you would mostly be taking uh, your authoritative name server from a website like godaddy or you can also create your own authoritative name server now the what is the dns root server like we discussed the root server is basically it is at the highest level uh, it uh, has the records which are in the root zone so basically there is a global list of records uh, which it contains uh, and there are just 13 uh, uh, root servers that are available which are at the global level they are like not per se 13 servers and not 13 computers running but these are the 13 servers maintained by different uh, uh, organizations uh, and each of them has uh, obviously a large number of servers it is a distributed system so like basically each organization which is maintaining they have a set of servers so they basically keep a global list of top domains so all the top websites which are being visited these, these are cached in the root name servers also uh, and next comes the top level domain servers so like i mentioned these are they have so there are domains like .aa also .xyz also so all these domains these are stored in the top level domain servers so these there are thousands of these top level domain servers which basically contains the mapping of uh, whatever dot com to a particular ip address and then finally the authoritative name server so it can be hosted by the company itself like i mentioned uh, amazon.com etc they they can keep it by self or the domain providers which are godaddy etc now uh, where does http come in this whole picture so we discussed about uh, uh, the xyz.com uh, like www.xyz.com now dot com as you see it will be managed by your top level domain servers xyz would be managed by your authoritative server the domain name which you are getting so uh, but wherever you type a website their http comes at uh, the beginning of every website now why does that come why do we always want a http or https protocol to basically make a call to any website so we'll talk about this in the next video i hope you like this one uh, if you did press the like button put down your comments and uh, i'll see you in the next one